Let's talk about multiplying polynomials. So I'm going to take a look at a polynomial multiplication problem two different ways. The first way is going to be the tabular method or the box method, and the second way is going to be with distribution. So I have two polynomials, a trinomial times a trinomial, x squared plus 3x plus 1 times x squared minus 5x plus 2. So if I'm using the box method, I need to have a box for each term. So because I have a trinomial times a trinomial, it's going to be a three by three box. So I'm going to put my first polynomial or my first trinomial on the top and then the second one on the side. And then we're going to multiply. Remember that when you multiply, you're adding your exponents. So x squared times x squared gives us x to the fourth. x squared times negative 5x gives us negative 5x to the third. x squared times 2 is 2x squared. Then I go to the 3x. 3x times x squared is 3x to the third. 3x times negative 5x is a negative 15x squared, and 3x times 2 is 6x. And then I go to my plus 1. So 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times negative 5, negative 5x. 1 times 2 is 2. Now I need to combine my like terms. And if you notice, on the diagonal are my like terms. Now, remember that when you are combining like terms, you're adding. And if for any reason you forget, look here. There's your help. This is a plus sign. So I'm adding my like terms. So my x to the fourth has nothing to be combined with. I have a negative 5x cubed and a positive 3x cubed. So I have minus 2x cubed. I have a positive 2x squared and a negative 15x squared, which gives me a negative 13x squared. And then remember, I have a plus 1x squared as well because I have three terms this time. So I'm going to end up with a negative 12x squared. And then I have a 6x plus a negative 5x, which gives me positive 1x. And then I have my plus 2 on the outside. So that's using the box method. We multiply to get what's inside the box, and then we combine like terms to take them out. And I have it in standard form, which is the largest exponent down to the smallest. So now I'm going to look at the same problem, except instead of using the box method or the tabular method, I am going to distribute. So you might be familiar with this for foiling or double distributing, but in this case, I have to do three distribution. So the first thing I'm going to distribute is that x squared. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times negative 5x is a negative 5x cubed. x squared times 2 is a positive 2x squared. Now I need to distribute that 3x to each piece in the next parentheses. You can do this two ways. You can continue writing this horizontally. So 3x times x squared is a positive 3x cubed. So if you wanted to write it this way. Or if you didn't want to, you could stack them on top of each other, maybe to make it a little bit easier and a little bit more organized for when you go to combine like terms. Then I have a 3x times a negative 5x. So I have a minus 15x squared. And I have a 3x times a 2, which is a positive 6x. And then lastly, I am going to distribute that 1 to each piece. And if I'm stacking them on top of each other, I have a 1 times an x squared. So I'm going to line it up here. 1x squared, a minus 5x, and then a positive 2. And then you're adding. So this comes down x to the fourth, a negative 5x cubed, and a positive 3x cubed is a negative 2x cubed, a positive 2x squared, a negative 15x squared, and a positive 1x squared give me a negative 12x squared, 
a positive 6x and a negative 5x is a plus 1x, and then my plus 2. Let's move that out of the way. So there you go. We get the same answer regardless of which method we used.